Um, a developing story today, British Gymnastics naming coaches who have been banned. This is as part of a response to an investigation exposing the sport's abusive culture. It follows a review which found that young gymnasts in Britain had been left humiliated, shamed and permanently psychologically or physically damaged. Well, our sports correspondent Rob Harris uh, joins me now with more on this. Um, and Rob, this is in reaction to that review, as I said. Uh, the the action that's leaping out is naming and shaming coaches, but there's a 40-point action plan from this. Can you give us some more measures that is going to transform, as it's billed, British gymnastics? Yeah, the hope is it does transform British gymnastics for the better and that, that the welfare of athletes is improved and particularly that this focus that might have been there perceived in the past of medals over the well-being of athletes is reversed and it's all about the well-being of future Olympians potentially, future Olympians who are training here at Lillishaw, the British Gymnastics HQ and it's here today we've been hearing the Reform 25 plan, it's the 40-point agenda to try to improve welfare in the sport and at the heart of it is this plan to name coaches who have been banned and we've been hearing more from the chief executive of British Gymnastics explaining how this will work. One of the elements around safe sport is making sure that we have processes and policies in place and if we are um, made aware of an investigation then we will determine whether a child is at risk. If a child is at risk then that person will be suspended and removed from that environment. If that child is not deemed to be at risk then they will be able to continue to coach. The key thing here is that we are really clear about the standards that we expect for all of our coaches and the environments we want to see, that they are safe, they are supportive and they are positive for all involved. The issue is that not all coaches will be banned for life and once their ban has been served, they will be removed from this database. So you could have guardians of children who are entering the sport and being coached by someone who might have previously served a ban but no one will know about it. Also, coaches who are suspended, their names won't be published, so someone could still be involved in the sport, perhaps in another country even, or indeed another sport, without that being known. So there are some gaps within this plan, although it is a plan that is aimed to actually try to ensure there is a better environment. And it's something that particularly gymnasts who have been survivors of abuse have been calling for. What's not included in this document is, is details of the very num the, the high numbers of uh, cases of eating disorder, uh, life-limiting injuries. There's, there's nothing in there which represents the kind of calls that I get on a weekly basis from gymnasts and parents across the country who continue to suffer or are suffering in gyms. Um, and I think that that represents a, quite a big gap in the reform document. Well, British Gymnastics are saying there will be a zero tolerance approach. They're also saying that there needs to be a cultural understanding that the fear created has no place in gymnastics. But this is called Reform 25. The aim is to introduce all these changes by 2025. That's three years away, a year after the Paris Olympics. And the hope is from particularly former gymnasts, those involved in the sport, is that the pace of change is accelerated.